Welcome to our deep dive into the BMC Amy Z Advisor Enterprise Dora Metrics Dashboard. My name is Rachel Clevenger and I am a Solutions Engineer in the VSC organization with BMC. Today, we're going to explore the four key metrics that have revolutionized how we measure and understand software delivery performance. These metrics are the result of years of research by Jez Humble, Nicole Forsgren, and Jean Kim, and they're at the heart of what makes high-performing software teams succeed. What makes this dashboard especially powerful is that all data comes directly from your automated development and deployment toolchain. No manual entry, no guesswork, just real, actionable data from your actual development processes. Let's begin with deployment frequency. Looking at this dashboard, we see you're deploying around 177 components per day across 22 assignments. But what does that actually mean? Think of assignments like shopping bags and components as the items you're buying. You could stuff everything into one big bag or spread them across several smaller ones. Right now, you're putting about eight components per assignment. Now, why does that matter? In the past, teams often bundled large numbers of components into big releases. Thinking fewer, larger deliveries were better. But that's like carrying all your groceries in one trip, risky, exhausting, and likely to cause spills. Modern DevOps practices have shown that smaller, more frequent deployments are better. It's like using multiple delivery vans instead of one overloaded truck, giving you greater flexibility, faster turnaround, and easier troubleshooting when something goes wrong. And let's be honest, something always does. Our second metric is change failure rate, a critical measure of code quality and stability. A fallback occurs when a problem is discovered in production and the only solution is to revert to the previous version. This is what we're measuring, how often new changes fail and need to be undone. Each fallback means a quality issue slipped through, customers were affected, an extra development effort was needed to resolve the issue. These failures have real costs in time, morale, unplanned work, and business impact, but they're also rich with insight. Change failure rate helps you assess your testing process effectiveness, incident response maturity, and overall development quality. Next, let's look at lead time for change. The time from when a developer says, I'm done, to when the code is live in production. In this case, that journey takes 15 days. That's a long time, and this dashboard captures every stop along the way. Every test phase, every waiting period, every approval gate, every delay in deployment, it's like tracking a package, except instead of just out for delivery, you get a complete view of every step the code takes. Ask yourself, how many test environments does your code pass through? Are we doing manual tasks that could be automated? How many approvals are really necessary? Are we waiting on people who are out of office or in meetings? Do we have fixed deployment windows that delay release? This matters because long lead times slow your business down. Want to respond to a competitor? Add a feature? Fix a bug? That's a 15 day delay. It's like running a race with weights on your ankles. You'll finish eventually, but you won't win. Finally, let's talk about mean time to restore service, your emergency response time. Right now, your average time to restore is 10 days. Think of your development and deployment workflow like a highway. Regular development is normal traffic uh, with speed limits, stop signs, and safety checks. But sometimes you need to move fast, like an ambulance navigating traffic. That's your emergency fix path, a special lane for urgent code changes. It's still safe, but faster and prioritized. We measure this from the moment a developer starts work on the emergency fix to when the fix reaches production. At 10 days, your ambulance is getting there, but slowly. If production is on fire, 10 days might be too long to wait. This metric shows how effectively you can handle critical issues, protect customer experience, and minimize downtime. This dashboard isn't just a collection of charts, it's your mission control for software delivery. Every spike, every trend line, every number tells a real-time story of how your team is performing. Because the data comes straight from your end-to-end -end DevOps tool chain, you get an unfiltered, data-driven view of your team's effectiveness, like having a fitness tracker for your development process. Think of these metrics like your team's vital signs. Deployment frequency shows your agility. Change failure rate reflects code quality. Lead time for change measures delivery speed. Mean time to restore shows your responsiveness to incidents. With BMC Amy Z Advisor Enterprise, these insights are right at your fingertips, helping you make smarter decisions and continuously improve your development process. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into the Dora Metrics dashboard.